Good morning from France. Where the f*** did you open the door go? Bonjour au Paris. Um, this is our last day in Paris. The fog has completely covered the Eiffel Tower. Lots of stuff to do today. We kind of didn't do any sightseeing really on the first night bar the Eiffel Tower. So we're hoping to do a hop on, hop off bus today. I'm gonna check out other things. Um, I definitely am gonna do a big review on Paris afterwards, but my God, the expense of these things, it's actually kind of turned me off. But yeah, it's really nice. Um, some of the French are really so kind about the fact that we don't know any French. And I understand why other people would get a bit frustrated by that. But uh, yeah, we're all tired, we're all wrecked. We definitely got a chill from Disneyland yesterday. The streets are beautiful. Like, look at that architecture. But you can't see the Eiffel Tower, which is slightly worrying. But anyway, we'll see. There is a slight problem in production as Maria has locked me out and I'm stuck on the balcony. Woo! So friends, what you're just about to watch is our trip on the big bus tours in Paris. Big bus tours or any kind of hop on, hop off bus situation is a fantastic way to find a new city. I'm going to hop in and out of the next few videos with a voiceover just to talk about my experience with the big bus tours. But first... It can be quite daunting to think about all the different monuments in a city and how you're going to get to them. The idea of the big bus tours are really fantastic because you have a clear plan of all the monuments and you can hop on and hop off whenever you want. It's a really straightforward process and especially with big bus tours. I've used them in a lot of different cities that I've been in and it has a free app that you can use to not only tell you when the next bus is coming but to also show you where the closest stop is so that way you are never ever lost. In Paris for us it was 35 euro each for a 24 hour ticket so that meant whatever time we hopped on the bus on the Wednesday for example we had a valid ticket until that next day at the same time which if you are smart jump on the bus in the afternoon for example and be able to do other stops the next morning so it's something to think about and if you think about it and put it up against the budgets it works out a lot cheaper than a load of taxis if you were to go that route i would also highly recommend putting the headphones in and actually using them because you get not only a really good sense of where each monument is and why it's important, you also get really cool historical hidden facts that you may not have known. For example, stories about the Notre Dame Cathedral, stories about certain bridges in Paris. We learned a lot about them, which we didn't know before, and it was really, really interesting. So all in all, highly recommend the big bus tours or any hop on, hop off bus situation but the big bus tours are my favorite and they are in majority of major cities that hold a lot of tourism. <laughs> a lot of this because I want to try and enjoy the moment and you need to come yourself. Future me just popping in here. Not me saying I'm not going to film much of this. I'm going to enjoy the moment and do possibly the most filming I've ever done in that bloody museum. I'm a hypocrite. Bonjour mes amis. Uh, we are here at Musée d'Orsay and just some really quick facts for you so I don't overdo it with voiceovers. Musée d'Orsay is a very famous museum just 10 minutes across from the Louvre. It is also one of the highly recommended museums if you choose not to go to the Louvre. It has a mix of contemporary and classic pieces of art. 
and sculptures. It is five stories high, has two restaurants inside of it. One is more of a cafe, the other is a restaurant. Musée de Orsay is a fantastic alternative if you do not want a big museum with lots and lots of crowds. So we have just done Musée de Orsay and it was lovely. And because we are EU citizens, it was for free. So yay for you! I got a hat. I just got abandoned. No, you didn't. Sleep. The Palace Royal. Just because you say everything in an accent doesn't mean it's Irish. Let's get the hand. We are off to the Louvre. Thank God for being European citizens. say about the Louvre is do not do it on a day where you only expect to be in there for an hour do it in a whole day there is so many different turns there's so many different expositions you will need the full day for the Louvre and get your walking shoes on because you're going to be doing a lot of steps and very controversial opinion but the Mona Lisa and the lines for the Mona Lisa is not worth it there is no need for you to get close to it the lines are way too long go and enjoy the other pieces of art that are on display don't kill me it's just my opinion <laughs> But just finished. I think we only touched about three quarters of the loop, half the loop, maybe. So yeah, it was good. It was very exciting. My feet are dead. Um, maybe we don't hit two museums in one day. And now we are going to go and get some food. I hurry is buying macaroons, and it's gonna be fun. I think. I hope. say that Maria spent the whole trip hyping up those macaroons we expected them to be beautiful no hate to the company whatsoever but I think I'll pass next time it is nearly half six we're waiting for our taxi to come collect us to the airport and au revoir Paris and just like that we say goodbye to Paris and we said hello to Dublin. Every time I go to another airport I'm always so grateful for how quick and efficient the Dublin airport is so with a big coffee, we headed to our gate. This is just to show how bad my accent is and I'm around people who don't understand Longford lingo because I said Katie and he said AJ. There had been a lot of work that I had planned to do on the way home from this trip. But for some reason, we ended up on a lovely Aer Lingus flight that had not only Wi-Fi, but screens in the back of every chair, which was filled with television, a map of where the plane was flying and my favorite games. So I played the goofy game for a while and then ended up spending the hour and a half playing solitaire very badly. There's a lot to reflect on from this trip, from being the first time we've flown in two years to the sheer difference of life compared to Ireland and Paris. 
I will be doing a video on the full review and my honest opinions of Paris. But for now, I want to say a thank you for watching. Thank you for following this wee journey that I've been on. Appreciate it. And hopefully these short little vlogs have given you a little bit of an escape from the madness of the world. I hope that you all stay safe, healthy and well. And I wish you a good day or night wherever you're watching from. And I'll see you when I see you.